So in this video, I just want to talk to you about overpayments, underpayments and creating a credit note. So uh, in this example, if someone has paid, um, paid too much on an invoice, um, we're going to use this example here, which is city limousines. All right. So they've paid $100, but the invoice is actually $99.50. So what we do, we would, we would go to, I've jumped ahead of myself here, we would go to uh, find and match. So click on this one. And you have to find the invoice and we can see it's at the top here. So we click that and then you want to click on split payment. And then we have to type in the $99.50 for that. All right, now we can still see that that is out by 50 cents. So we want to add in a new transaction here. And we want it to be a receive money. And up the top here, we want to say received as overpayment. All right, now you can just leave all that as it is. Save transaction. And click OK. All right, now that that's gone, um, what I always like to do is ensure that that credit is actually sitting in the client's account. So let's search for city limousines. These guys have some previous action on their account, but you can see that that's been allocated in here. So that's good. That's all worked. So that is what you do if someone has overpaid an invoice and you want to leave the credit sitting on their account for a future invoice. So the next one we'll go into is underpayments. So let's go back to the dashboard. Okay, I think it's the next page. Okay, so we can see that eBank has paid $1,000, but the invoice, the invoice is actually 1500 So what we need to do is go to the invoice You can see here that you um, can make a payment down the bottom. So we can say it's been part paid and we'll make that 1000 because that's what they've paid. You would make it the date the same as the payment date, which I think it was around the 13th of December. Yeah, you'll always get that warning if the payment was received before the invoice. So as this is a demo, um, yeah, that error is happening, but that's nothing to be concerned about. And then you just want to um, mark it as paid into whichever bank account it was paid into. And then the reference you can either leave as blank or, you know, you might want to put the invoice number or... You might want to even say underpaid or part payment. And then you can add a payment. Let me go back to the invoice just to make sure that's all gone through. All right, so there's still 500 owing on that. But now we can go back into the dashboard and the bank account. 
and we should be able to find that payment matching up here. Alright, then we can click OK on that. Now, let's go back to that invoice. So, yeah, they've obviously underpaid it by $500, but it could also be a case of, you know, someone might be paying their invoice off. So they've made a down payment of 1000 and they've got 500 left. So if that's the case, you would just email that invoice through, um, which says you've got $500 outstanding. Uh, you can also, if you go into the payment, you can also see... Oh, you can also send a payment receipt. So you can send a receipt to the client to say that you've received that money. Um, if this amount happened to be a smaller amount, let's say it's out by 50 cents and you're not concerned about it, you can go up to the invoice options and go add credit note. It automatically um, takes off the difference that is owing. Um, obviously we're not going to go through with that but yeah if that's a smaller amount that you're not concerned about um, you can create a credit note which um, zeroes out the invoice. So we'll just approve that so you can see what it looks like. So yeah that invoice is now marked as fully paid. All right, so another thing um, is just creating a credit note straight out. So, um, yeah, so that's one way um, if someone has overpaid an invoice, um, you create the overpayment, which is um, technically a, a kind of credit note. Um, if you want to just create a stock standard credit note, um, all you have to do is go to your invoices and right next to new invoice it says new credit note. And you can start typing in all the details here. So normally you'd allocate the credit note this doesn't apply to overpayments, but you'd allocate the credit note uh, to the same account that you would have created the invoice from. So, yeah, this was a type of sale, so we're just going to allocate that to sales, tax inclusive. All right, so this will credit City Limousines, put a $100 credit on their account. All right, you can see they've got outstanding invoices. So we could apply that credit note to those invoices, but um, yeah, we're not going to do that. Um, you can have the option of a cash refund but I'm just going to show you, you can click that, but I'm just going to show you a different way um, to do a cash refund. So if we go back into the credit note, we go down here and it says make a cash refund. So you fill out all those details in there and then go add refund. And obviously you then go through the steps to transfer the money back to the client um, Yeah, by doing internet banking. Uh, so I think that is all I need to share with you regarding yeah, overpaying an invoice, underpaying an invoice and creating a credit note.